Hello, Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is you versus them. Okay, this is general, so it will not resonate for everyone. All right, we're starting, I guess. We got two cards right there for you. A lot of you guys have walked away, but I feel like a lot of you walked away and found out some truth. Okay, something was not serving you before you felt like it wasn't um, emotionally. And um, there's something that you have walked right into in walking away. All right. A lot of you want to um, say something. You want to also divulge the truth to someone, I feel. All right. Let's see what the other person, where they are. Hmm. Wow. All right. A lot of them have given up on... Um, on this connection I feel um, this is a natural ending so you know this is also a form of an ending you know with something that you felt was not you know it just wasn't making you happy so you had to say goodbye to a situation and that's exactly what um, this death card is is saying goodbye to a situation that you are no longer getting any fulfillment out of so you know you have to put it to rest okay at the same time this individual on this side is changing okay they are changing and I feel like not only are they loving themselves but I feel like there is a possible new connection going on here okay very Scorpio energy. Let's see what you guys want. Oh, wow. I think... I think you guys walked away from a situation where you weren't feeling... Um, like you belong there anymore like it wasn't for you anymore this is like a rude awakening right here this is a rude awakening and again you've realized some truth you walked right into it and walking away from something okay and this is you really waking up I feel I feel you guys waking up. This is a rude awakening right here. This is trying to gain some harmony, trying to get trying to gain some balance in your life. I feel like also that this truth that you learned brought this awakening on that you possibly want to reunite with someone here possibly the same person or situation that you walked away from previously there again we have Scorpio energy this Sag Sagittarius energy somebody may be on like the cusp here okay let's see what they want I feel like they're trying to protect themselves from from you okay now keep in mind guys this energy can go vice versa okay you can fall on this side and the other person on this side okay only you guys know your own situations I'm just picking up on the energy okay so I feel like they're trying to keep themselves from you they're trying to protect their heart from you and whatever happened um, between the two of you here because there was a lot of conflict that you guys experienced in the connection I think they feel that whenever they interact with you that um, there's always an argument or you guys can never get along you know you can never agree on anything there's no compromise and so I think at this point they're they're trying to really just close themselves off to this connection okay Ooh. 
let's see what you guys need I think Taurus that you guys probably need to basically stand up for yourself um, stand by what you believe for sure be there for the people that you feel like you know you care about in your life um, and if that includes the other person then that is what this is saying I think this is telling you that please don't wait on someone else to come towards you or don't wait for someone else to make you feel like um, you have the upper hand. And I think that means somebody else reaching out to you. I think this is a need for you to turn around and face whatever issues you need to face here. To be strong enough to face whatever issues you need to face here. Okay, and this could involve several things. This could involve, um, you know, the other person. It could involve your children. It could involve your mother, your father, your job. Whatever the issues are here that you have turned your back on, um, I think there is a level of stubbornness here with the emperor and the seven of pentacles because both of these are the, the emperor doesn't move and then the seven of pentacles um is just kind of you know planting a seed and laying in wait to see what happens um i think it's a need for you to be more proactive here okay is what i feel and maybe you need to plant a seed here Maybe you need to take action, turn around and take action on whatever it is that you need to take action on. Okay. Let's see what they need. I think this person needs to continue to heal. I think they need to be forgiving. Um, this, is a, this is a spiritual individual right here. This is a very intuitive person. I feel like they are very, um, I feel like they are for a forgiving person, usually. I don't know what happened between you guys, but you know, sometimes when there's a lot of arguing and fighting in a relationship, even if somebody is very, um, you know, loving and extends themselves, usually they can become a little closed off like here in the Four of Pentacles, but their need is to embrace, I feel like, their, um, their nature it is in their nature to be loving to be caring um to be forgiving to love unconditionally and i think that's what their need is i think you know this is somebody that possibly when you were with them they if you got like on 10 they were the ones to try to like talk you back down to like you know a calm level that is a kind of individual i feel like that this person normally is is what I'm getting. Uh oh, I dropped a card. Hang on, guys. And the card that dropped actually was the Ace of Wands. I do feel like you guys. I Oh my gosh. And I feel like I feel like this card came out in um in your yearly reading. But I feel like this truly is a divinely guided connection here. I just feel strongly that way. Okay. That that divine timing is at play here. God is trying to work his magic. He's trying to work his magic for you. I do feel that way. Okay. Let's see if someone else is involved here. I don't feel like anyone else is involved for you, Taurus. I really don't. I feel like you have 
the ace of swords right here you have the ace of pentacles right here we have the eight of one the ace of wands that fell out which was a strong message for me because just basically i have the cards in my hand like this and it just fell out on the floor okay um but i feel like this is more about you you know the truth that you have realized and walking away okay the awakening that you now feel the the not feeling like it's a good idea for you to approach this person and then now you're still thinking about this is something that is not just fleeting with this ace of pentacles this is something that i feel like was supposed to stand the test of time honestly and truly but we all have free will okay so there's only so much that um that god can do but you have to work for yourself also is what i'm feeling and i feel like that's what you want to do i feel like that's what's in your heart to do here i feel like that but i feel like you've been you know you've been basically you know standing on your own for a long time here You've been handling your own for a long time here. And you're used to probably saying or, or you know, taking a stand on something and sticking by it. And I think that's the same energy that you're trying to hold on to in this particular situation. But I don't think that's going to work in this particular situation, my Taurus friends, okay? Let's see if someone else is involved for them. I feel like somebody is involved, like I said before. I feel like I felt like they were um, starting a new connection in something totally different because this is a change, something totally different than what they have experienced before. But there is somebody that has made an offer to them, I feel, a water sign, quite possibly Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. And I don't feel like it's this truly serious situation yet, but this is somebody they get along well with because they're trying to avoid conflict here, I feel like, at all costs. Okay, so this is somebody they've been communicating with, possibly somebody that, not possibly, this is somebody that has very strong feelings for them, okay? And being that I don't feel like it is... Um, it is that solid yet. I feel like maybe this is somebody they have known before. Possibly. But there is communication going on with this individual, I feel, at this time. Okay. Wow. Let's see, is this likely? Is this likely that Taurus will reunite? Hmm. Look at the Ace of Wands comes out again here. Very strong message here. It's very possible. Very possible. I feel like, I feel like Taurus, I'm just going to say this, and a lot of people probably are not going to take kindly to it, but I feel like if you want this person, and this is only going to resonate for maybe a few of you, if you know in your heart that you want this person, if you know that there is possibly something that you can do to fix this, possibly do to fix this, I feel like this this is telling you. This is the card that jumped out. And then I shuffle and I pull it again. This is divine timing at play here in your love life. It's up to you, I feel like, to make this right. Could be an Aries person that you're dealing with or Libra, um, Scorpio, Cancer energy, Aquarius here. Could be any sign. But you guys listen to the situation more so than anything, okay? Because it could be any sign. But these are just the energies that's present here. The Pisces energy, the Scorpio energy, Sag, Aries, um, Capricorn, Cancer, 
okay? This is very strong for me. This is a connection that I feel was meant to stand the test of time. But it requires the, the letting down of egos um, and, you know, doing what you feel is right here with justice, okay? Doing what you feel is right. All right, my Taurus friends. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out your reading. And let's see what we've got for my Taurus friends. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So if there was something or a behavior, because this is what they're thinking, this is what they're thinking about you. If this is not the case, I feel like they're, you know, they need to know that. They need to know that this is not what you're bringing to them, this five of wands here. You're not bringing that anymore. Okay? There is no conflict. Um, there is no, you know, one upping each other. There is no, you know, I'm just going to disagree with you for the sake of disagreeing with you because I want to be right. You know, if, if there is something that you want this person to know, I feel like, um, let's do that. Let's do that. I love to see people together, especially people I feel like truly belong together. Sometimes people come into our lives and it's strictly just to teach us a lesson. And then you have people that come into our lives that are meant to be there to, to go through this journey with us. Okay. So only you guys know what situation this is truly for you. All right, my guys. So I will be speaking with you soon and my Taurus friends, good luck. Love you guys. Bye now.